Hey guys, what's up? It's Caroline and I cut my hair off. Just thought you ought to know. This week's theme is writing week. So I have this um, journal that I use. So since it's writing week, I decided I would um, just uh, read you my fan fiction that I wrote. 2012. Harry Styles fanfic. It was my first day of school in England, after moving all the way from America to London. It was really scary. I didn't know anyone, but I was willing to try and make friends. When I got there, I surprisingly got a lot of attention from, well, everyone, and I didn't know why. Well, I guess it was because of my American accent. I didn't make any friends for a couple of days. But after I got used to everything, I met a couple people. There was this one guy that I had a bit of a crush on. He had the most lush hair. It was like a curly wonderland. His name was Josh. He thought I was gonna say Harry, didn't you? But I said Josh. We were pretty close. Um, one afternoon, I was getting some coffee after school. When I was going to leave, I saw Josh sitting alone at the table, at a table. So I went over to say hi, but when I got there, I realized it wasn't him. He looked at me funny. Hello, he said. Can I help you? I stood there for a moment, then said, Oh, sorry. I thought you were my friend Josh. You have this the exact same hair. Oh, well that's okay. I'm Harry, by the way. Nice to meet you. Turn the page. I smiled. I'm Caroline. That was the only name I could think of, apparently. Or maybe I just wrote it for my, enjoy my own enjoyment. I don't know. I don't remember. He invited me to sit down, and we talked for a while. So, Miss Caroline, where are you from? America, I presume. Yes, I said, with a sad look on my face. I miss it so much. All of my old... F uh, I miss it so much. All of my old friends. But, th but here is all right, too, I guess. He smiled and said, Why don't we go for a stroll? to take your mind off of home. I agreed. We walked around the block. We walked around the block a bit. Suddenly, he stopped me. What's wrong? I asked. He turned to me without an answer and planted a kiss right square on my lips. What was that for? I asked. No reason, he said, with a cheeky smile. For the next few weeks, we spent as much time as we could together, going to the movies, out to dinner, or just chilling after a bit of, after the, or just chilling. After a bit, he told me he was in a band called One Direction, and that they were kind of famous around the globe, but I had already caught on by then. On a rainy morning, he invited me back to his flat. When, flat, really. Um, when we got to the room, the first thing I saw was four boys just sitting on the couch watching Friends. This was back when I was like a carrot. If you're a directioner, you understand what that means. Um, then they all turned and looked at me and smiled. Hello, boys, said Harry. This is Caroline. Caroline, this is Louis, Zane, Liam, and Niall. So this is the girl you've always been talking about, Niall blurted out. I blushed at that statement. Oh, I blushed at that statement. He sat and we sat and talked for a while. I got up to get some water and I was going to open the fridge when I got a text from my mom that said, in all caps, HOME, NOW. I walked into the other room, still holding my phone. Um, 
Harry, can you drive me home? My mom wants me, like, now. I asked. Uh, okay, is there some sort of emergency? He said. I don't know. She said, all she said was, home now, I answered, still confused. He drove me home and gave me a goodbye kiss. When I got inside my parents, inside, my parents were waiting for me in the kitchen. What's wrong? I asked. It's about Harry, my mom told me. What about him? I asked. You can't see him anymore. He's interfering with your schoolwork. Oh no. Oh no, Caroline. What's... What are you gonna do? No, I'm not breaking up with him, I said. And my voice started to get loud, and my eyes started tearing up. Well, if you don't, we're not paying for your, for university. We're so sorry, but it has to come to this. My mother said, trying to be sympathetic. Fine. But what do I say? Wow, I am... This care... I or... This Caroline character is really easy to persuade. Like, if she really likes this guy, she would, like, not break up with him. I was... Hmm. This is ratchet. <sighs> say that you can't date celebrities, my father said. What? By now, I couldn't hold back my tears any longer. So I ran up to my room, sobbing. I th threw my bag onto my bed, still sobbing. After a bit, I was done crying. So I took my phone, um, out of, so I took my phone out of my bag and called Harry. Hello, gorgeous. He said. I started crying again. Caroline, is there something wrong? He sounded concerned. Um, we need to talk, I said, my voice shaking. What is it? He said, now sounding worried. I can't see you anymore, I said, now bawling. What? Why? He asked. I don't date celebrities. I'm so sorry, I told him. Okay then, he said. Then, hung up. I flopped onto my pillow and cried myself to sleep. And that is the end of part one. So, um, yeah, that's it. I, uh, I hope you liked it. If you did, give it a thumbs up. Um, don't forget to subscribe down below. If you like this video and you um, want me to maybe read the second part and third part on my main channel, then just let me know in the comments and I will do that. Um, so yeah. Yeah. I will uh, see you guys next week. Bye!